Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Subhashish Mishra and today's topic of discussion is on standard scalar or standardization. Before we start about standard scalar or standardization, let's understand what exactly is a normal distribution. So when we have our data and we plot it in an XY plane, if that data follows a bell-shaped curve, then it is a normally distributed data. Now being spoken about normally distributed data, that means whenever we have the data which is following up the bell-shaped curve and whenever we find out the standard deviation of that data, then around 68% of the data will cover under the first standard deviation. 95% of the data will be present within the second standard deviation and the third standard deviation covers almost 99.7% of the data. Then if that is there, then we can call this data as a normally distributed data. Normally distributed data means the data are quite close to the mean. Now this exact phenomenon that we have discussed currently 68, 95 and 99.7 that is causing a rule called as an empirical rule. Now let's understand about this standardization. What exactly is standardization? In real life data, most of the cases, whenever we receive any data for machine learning or data science, then we don't get the normally distributed data. The data is of different distribution. Very seldom we get our data which is normally distributed. But in case of a machine learning model, data which is normally distributed learns, is being learnt very quickly. That means if we are creating a machine learning model, then if the data is normally distributed or the features which are present in the data are normally distributed, then the model learns it very well. Also, if we have different scale of measurement, for example, let's say height and weight, height, for example, let's say height is of centimeter and weight is of kilogram. So centimeter and kilogram are very different measure of unit of measurement. So if we have two or more different uh, measuring unit, then for individual features, it is very difficult for a model to learn the pattern of the data. Hence, scaling it down into a single measuring unit means scaling all the features under a single measuring unit will make it better. Hence, we use a technique called as standardization or standard scalar to standardize the data or to scale down the data into a single measuring unit. Now the formula for standard scalar is z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. z is over here the z score or standardized value of individual data point. x is the input value, input value of the individual feature. mu is the average of the feature and sigma is the standard deviation of that feature. Now let's understand the entire phenomenon of how standardization works in a practical application. So now we are in our Google Chrome. Let's type in Google Colab. Google Colab is a library which is free library which is being provided by Google where we can be able to do our machine learning and data science stuff and we can code it over here and we can make it run. So let's type in Google Colab. Let's create a new notebook. Okay. Now let's take a data set and understand how standard scalar works. So to take a data set, let's go ahead and leverage the data sets which are available in our internal machine learning libraries. That is a library called as Seaborn. So let's import Seaborn first. Okay, now once C1 is imported, let's check out the data sets available under the C1. Let's get the data set names. So these are all data sets available under C1. For simplicity, let's take Titanic into our consideration. SNS dot load data set. 
and let's consider Titanic. Now let's tick the head of the data. So this is how the data looks. Over here survived is our output value or the y value and rest all our x values. So for our simplicity sake, let's take this output that is survived and then take uh, let's take class and also let's take fair. So df of survived class and fair. Now the data frame is updated. Let's check it out. Yeah, we have got our desired data frame now. So let's take the shape of the data frame. So we have around 891 records available in this data frame. First thing first, whenever we have any data set in machine learning, we will check about the null value if there is any missing value present or not. So let's do that. So as you can see, we don't have any missing value. So we can go ahead and perform our machine learning task. So before going ahead and scaling the data, why we need to scale the data because we have class and fair are two independent variable for us and class and fair are of very, very different measuring unit. If we want to check, then we can check out. The highest value of the class max value. So the max value is three. Similarly, if we want to check the max value of the fair, then it's 512.3292. So 3 and 512.3292 is having a huge gap in between them. So we need to scale it down so that the model will be able to learn it properly. So before doing that, before doing the scaling, let's do the splitting of the data. Means we will be creating sampling of the data. We will have a certain number of data points for training and a certain number of data points for testing. Why we need that is whenever we will be training the data with a with any machine learning model, once the training is being done, we need to validate how good is our model in terms of learning the data that we have. So we need to have a test data set to validate that. We have different uh, techniques in terms of uh, sampling. So one is random sampling, simple random sampling, another one is stratified sampling. There are other sampling techniques also available. So we'll be currently using the random sampling. Now for the random sampling, we have a very good uh, scikit-learn library available, which is called as trend test split. We will leverage that. So let's import that from skillearn dot model selection import. the split now we will also import we will be also importing the standard scalar library Okay, so the libraries are imported. Now let's do the splitting. Before we split it into X train, X test, Y train and Y train, let's create our X and Y. So for that we will be taking survived into the gun survived as our y and x will be the rest all variables
all right now leverage the train test plate so we'll be taking the test size as 33 percent and that's it once we do that let's check the shape of the train and test so this is the shape of the train let's check out the shape of the test okay now let's apply standard scalar so we'll be applying standard scalar to the train data so whatever the scaling we will be applied or however the standard scalar will be trained that same training needs to be applied into the test data so however the data is being trained with the scaling that sim that sim that same scaling need to be applied with the test data so in that case what we will be doing we will be declaring a variable of standard scalar once we do that then we will be training it with the extend value so for that what we will be doing we will be training and also we will be transforming the data into the scale format so we will be leveraging the method called as fit transform and it will be extra now it's being scaled if we want to check extra in scale then we can be able to see okay now so we have the scale data now which is being scaled into a single measuring unit now let's apply the same scaling to the test data so we will name it as x test scale dot transform x test now once that is being there let's check out the x test scale all right so now the same scaling which we have applied in terms of x train is being applied to the x test data that we have now this is all about this video if you like the content then please press the like button and also subscribe to my channel and share it with whoever needs. Until then stay tuned and enjoy machine learning. Thank you.